compañeros. Nos vemos ahí, abrazo. Le quita las gafas para verle los ojos a otro día que está atrás. Yo sigo anclada en el 21 de noviembre del 2021. Yo no, no, no sé lo que ha pasado en el mundo, no sé... O sea, yo he salido de la cueva, me han montado en un... De hecho, no quería salir. You just heard from a Spanish mountain climber. Her name is Beatriz uh, Flamini, who emerged after spending a year and a half in a cave, 230 feet underground. And guess what? She didn't want it to end. She enjoyed it. She wanted it to continue. She was even like a little annoyed that they came to get her. Now, the 50 year old woman left the cave in southern Spain shortly after 9 a.m. after being told by supporters that she had completed this feat that she embarked on on November 21st, 2021. So, Flamini's first words after exiting the cave included asking who would be paying for a sub celebratory round of beers. I mean, everything I've heard about this woman so far is on point. I kind of love her. In brief comments to journalists, she described the experience of being cut off from the world as excellent, unbeatable. She then asked to be excused as she needed her first shower in more than 16 months. Now, I do not want to dwell too much on the no shower in 16 months part because that is literally the only part of this story that seems unappealing to me. But living in a cave away from everyone else for a year and a half sounds pretty freaking glorious. And I'm glad that I'm not the only person who thinks so. <laughs> yeah, so I had a friend who did this kind of thing, but he did it recreationally for like meditation. So mm -hmm. he went and found a cave, I believe in Virginia somewhere. And he went and stayed there with no lights, no nothing for 30 days, just barely enough food to eat. And it was to meditate and to find himself. And so I asked him at the end, so what'd you find out? I'm genuinely curious, that's kind of an amazing experiment to do. And he's like, uh, nothing, uh, I tried really hard, but I really couldn't come up with anything. And I was like, wow, didn't see that coming. <laughs> so, but like in your case, Anna, you're not really trying to find yourself or anything like that. No, I know you myself. Just want to run away from the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Except like I, I would like to make some amendments to this whole lifestyle. So I don't know if my husband would want to come with me. I would ask him to. Like I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I wouldn't mind him coming. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the pause there was epic. Okay. No, because I was thinking about like, like, <laughs> is there a portion of the cave that can be divided for like alone time? Because you know, close quarters, you might need a little bit of space. I get that, but I, I would definitely miss my husband. I know that for a fact. That's why I bring him up. But you think I wouldn't bring Charlie with me? Like I'd die, of course I would bring my dog with me. So those that's like the only thing that I would change. Um, by the way, look, look, humans Can are different. Now note that humans Christian are different. got a maybe I and know, Charlie got but a Christian definitely. gets it, he gets it, he gets me, he knows, he knows. Humans are different, dogs are so innocent. Like they're not gonna annoy you, dogs only make you happy, right? Whereas humans annoy you time to time, even someone you love deeply, like how I feel about my husband. Like obviously I love him, but if we were in tight quarters for a year and a half with no escape, I'm sure it's not that he'd get on my nerves, I'm pretty sure I'd get on his nerves and you know, vice versa. Come on, let's keep it real. So yeah, I'm kidding around. The whole point of this exercise is not to have another human being with you. Yeah. So you just throw the asterisks on like, okay, if I wasn't married and then you move on with the rest of the conversation. I'm just messing with you, of course, of course. If you bring someone else that defeats the whole point of hiding in a cave, right? Yeah. And no, Charlie doesn't like, yeah, I get why you wanna bring Charlie and you know, we'll put another asterisk there and let you cheat on that because it's not like you're gonna talk to the dog and the dog is gonna talk back and uh, like interact with, well, never me. mind. <laughs> Never mind. He doesn't talk to me, but we communicate. And I yes. definitely talk to my dog all the time. Yeah. I tell him he's my special little prince multiple times a day because I'm a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on, we don't need to delve too deeply into my personal life because I sound like a weirdo. But why don't we talk a little more about Flamini here because you might be wondering, okay, well, what was this all about? 
And how did she deal with the whole you know, need for sustenance issue? Well, uh, her pursuit is actually part of a project called Time Cave uh, that was designed to study how someone would fare going solo underground for so long. Um, she, she used two cameras to document the experience uh, and also placed the recordings at an exchange point uh, in the cave. Her teammates didn't communicate with her, but what they would do is drop off food and other necessities at the retrieval site and picked up whatever she left there. Uh, sh yeah, so she says she spoke aloud only when recording videos wanting to respect the silence of the cave. She said, quote, I didn't talk to myself out loud, but I had internal conversations and got on very well with myself, which is great because look, I think one of the issues that a lot of people have is we have so much stimuli and so many distractions that people have a difficult time just sitting still and being with themselves. And clearly this woman's very comfortable with who she is because she's got no distractions. She's literally living in a cave underground and has no one to talk to or, or no one to think about except for herself. Um, so that's really interesting. Um, and a group of psychologists and researchers uh, and physical trainers with Time Cave studied the recordings but uh, didn't have any direct contact with her. Um, the other thing that I should note is that it is alleged that she has hit or set a new world record in terms of the amount of time spent living in the cave. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but at least Spanish media is claiming that at the time being. Yeah, so look, the reason why this story is interesting is because of what Anna said, we are bombarded with stimuli. So it's not just family anymore, it's family and friends. So that development happened a long time ago, I hope. And then it was family, friends and business. And 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 we used to live in like little villages where we knew 12 people and those were the only 12 people we knew. And every once in a while, oh my God, a stranger would come in on horseback. And that was like the most exciting thing that happened in three years. Now we got Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and Facebook and TV bombarded with like oh, nonstop interactions with people wanted or unwanted. So hell yeah, a lot of us want to go hide in a cave, right? Mm -hmm. And so look, I'm not as extreme as Anna. And so I would love to do it for like a couple of days. And then you know me, I'd start bouncing off the walls of the cave and oh, yeah. need to go. And not only talk to people, but tell people my opinions. <laughs> exactly. No, you would lose <laughs> your mind. And look, I, honestly, I'm partly joking. Do I really want to live by myself in a cave for 500 days? No, probably not. But <laughs> I will say, I will say that it's healthy to crave solitude, and it's also incredibly healthy to want to unplug from technology. So. One thing that I've been doing lately because I just need it, I, I crave it, is I'll go to let's say a Korean spa. They don't really have good internet connection. So if I'm tempted to get on my phone, I really can't, <laughs> which is great. And I'll take a color, like an adult coloring book. And in the communal room, I'll just kind of like relax and color before, you know, getting a massage or whatever treatment I, I you know, uh, schedule to get there. And it's just nice to be in a world that's just so different from what I experience day to day with the instant, like constant messages, constant phone calls, constant me, 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 need, need, need. I, I need your attention. I need this. Can you do that? Like, it's nice to get a break from that. And it's nice to be alone with your own thoughts. Yeah. So, last things here. Uh, look, I do this in the most ironic way possible. I used to do this every year, but with a family, it's much harder. Uh, but I still do it as much as I can, which is I go to South Beach once a year. And that's why this is deeply ironic, South Beach is my cave. and But I don't interact with anyone. I don't go to clubs and clubs, look at me, right? <laughs> okay, I don't go to any of the places that people normally go to in South Beach. I just get a hotel room, usually it's cheapest one that looks at the water. And I just look at the water for like two, three days and I'm plugged for everything. Don't Talk to to friends. Don't get into emailing and business, etc. And you know, it used to be a week. Then it was four, five, four days. Now we're down to like two days if I'm super lucky, right? But uh, but you got to do that every once in a while it, because you need a refresher. You need you need to you know give yourself some sort of balance. Mm -hmm. And for me, 
Uh, and I don't know how you're gonna take this, if you're gonna like it or if you're gonna think it's obnoxious. Uh, but I recommend it to all you guys. I kind of like myself, so I don't mind spending time with me, right? And and that sounds funny and like, no, like I said, No, I freaking arrogant. love myself. I love spending time with myself. It's the best person to spend time with. No, I hear you. Go ahead yeah. and hate on that, I don't care. Yeah, guys, you're supposed to like yourself. Yeah, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you, okay? With the, with the people that tell you that, are stressing you out sometimes on purpose, but largely because they have preconceived notions that are in their heads, not your heads. That's why it doesn't match. So give yourself a break and go into a cave for 500 days or less. Okay. And final thing I'll say is she was kind of annoyed when they came to get her after the 500 days were up. Um, she had read 60 books and apparently she was in the middle of reading yet another book when they came to get her and she said, quote, I was sleeping or at least dozing when they came down to get me. I thought something had happened. I said, already? No way, I hadn't finished my book. Imagine being underground in a cave for 500 days. This whole experiment's over, the team comes to get you and you're just like, I'm still reading my book, okay? I'm annoyed that you're coming to get me, <laughs> it's amazing. No, yeah, Anna, she's definitely your spiritual twin, no question about it. <laughs> yeah, she's And she's great. like a- wonderfully salty lady, okay, so God bless. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.